<clears throat> uh, welcome everyone to our Veggie Tales Christmas show. <laughs> when we're feeling a little down, nothing cheers us up like Christmas food. I hope. So here's our own Archibald Asparagus guiding us through Christmas food from around the world. No matter what your grumpy mood, you can't resist this Christmas food. Fa la 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 la. We love Christmas food. Bring it on. Ready. Send your taste buds for a loop and try this yummy cabbage soup. Fa la 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 la. Cabbage soup? Not Christmassy. It is if you live in the Czech Republic. Not really feeling it. Let's bring on the Christmas food. This Christmas time you'll get your wish if you enjoy this Christmas dish. Fa la 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 la. I hope it's not soup. What am I looking at? Looks like jelly. Come on, fellows, take a risk. Have a slurp of Ludafisk. Uh -huh. Which is what exactly? Jellied fish. Yeah. Fish jelly. Oh, man, that's not Christmas food. It is if you live in Scandinavia. Fish jiggles. I want Christmas food! Do not think I'm being rude, but all of this is Christmas food. Fa la 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 la. You did not like dish one or two, but here's a dish just right for you. It better be ham or something. Piggy. That's not ham. Now it's time to get your filler. Tasty fried up caterpillars. Caterpillars? Gonimbrasia balina, a moth species whose caterpillar is harvested in southern Africa around Christmas time and served up fried and crunchy. Fa la 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 la. All right, fella. You said this was gonna be Christmas food. Ham and turkey and pies and cookies. It's Christmas food from around the world, my friends! We're on an educational journey of discovery! No pies. No cookies. I'll give you one more chance to give us something Christmassy! One more chance! I'm thrilled to show you what's in store. Feast your eyes on number four. Fa la 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 la, fa la 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 la, fa la 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 la. Huh? It's looking at me. <coughs> Roast sheep's head, a Christmas delicacy in Norway. Fa la 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 la, fa la la la. Where are you going? Burger Bell for some real Christmas food. Cheeseburgers. Oh, man. Weird Christmas food. No Christmas tree. This show isn't going well at all. Did someone ask for a Christmas tree? Ta-da! Nice, huh? Larry, that's a coat rack. But... What is a tree, Bob? Are we having this conversation? It's tall. It has branches that hold up lights and tinsel and maybe coats. That's a coat rack. It's tree-like. Look, Arthur is having a tough time. I'm having a tough time. Our show is a disaster. We need a Christmas tree, Larry. Or what do we have to celebrate? My creativity is so undervalued. Hey, there's a pile of coats next to the door. What happened to the... Oh. Uh, don't worry, I sent Larry out to get a real tree. We're gonna make Christmas worth celebrating. You really think a tree makes Christmas worth celebrating? Well, and the food, and the presents? None of that stuff will help Arthur celebrate Christmas. Well, then what?
what will. Understanding why Christmas is worth celebrating, even in tough times, especially in tough times. I think we need to tell Arthur a story. What kind of story? About Christmas morning with snow and Santa and lots of presents and food and stuff? Nope. We're gonna tell a story about a shepherd. A junior shepherd. A junior shepherd named Junior. Shepherd. I'm not very happy today. I'm Junior the Junior Shepherd. My grumpiness won't go away. He's, He's junior, junior the Junior Shepherd. shepherd. He's not, not very happy, happy, it's true. So why such, such a gloomy shepherd? shepherd? He'll probably explain it to you. I live in a time that is not very fun. I don't get to play and I don't get to run. I work in the field and I bake in the sun Just so my family can eat So we don't end up on the street He's Junior the Junior Shepherd He's not very happy, it's true Oh, why such a gloomy shepherd He just explained it to you That really is kind of sad Yeah, not happy it was sad. Back then, lots of kids didn't have enough to eat. The world was a tough, tough place. Tough times. Tough times. Hey, look at... What? Star. Not usually there. Oh, come on. Stars don't just move around. If a star was doing something crazy, you wouldn't be the only one to notice. Hey! The star that's doing something crazy? There it is! Don't let it get away! Who are you guys? We are wise men from afar We are following the star And we think the news is great Which is why we just can't wait To get to Bethlehem Did you say ham? Piggy! No, we said ham Bethlehem Oh, because we thought we were getting ham, but they tried to feed us cabbage. And jigglefish. Guys, let's stick with the story. Right, got it. Where are you headed, oh wise men? I prefer the term wise persons. Where are you headed, oh wise persons? To Bethlehem. Didn't you hear our song? Right, got it. But why? What's happening in Bethlehem that's such great news? Oh, haven't you heard? A new king is born! Oh, we've had lots of kings. Roman kings, Persian kings, Assyrian kings. They're all the same. But this king is different. This king is the Messiah. <gasps> Messiah? How do you know all this? That star told us. We cannot be late. Perhaps we will see you there? Uh, yeah. We're probably gonna stay here. And she. Okay. You wanna hear our song again? Not really. We are wise men from afar. We are following the star. And we think the news is great. Which is why we just can't wait to get to Bethlehem. What's Messiah? I wouldn't worry about it. The star told us. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I wouldn't believe it unless the whole sky lit up and told me. <laughs> we are here to tell you something. Yeah. Do not be afraid, herders of sheep. I'm not afraid. I just can't see anything. Too bright. We are here to announce the first Christmas. Wait, 
Christmas? Yeah, what's Christmas? Oh, right. They will not celebrate Christmas for quite some time. Christmas! Christ? Mass! A mass is a church service. Christ is the one we celebrate at this church service. And Christ is... A Greek translation of a Hebrew word. Look, I'm not trying to pick up a new language. Just give me the news. If Christ is the Greek word, what's the Hebrew word? Messiah! I'm, uh... I'm gonna have to tell my uncle about his theater. The show's gone. The theater's gone. And everyone left us here alone. We did not leave you! Peace are loyal to the end! Oh, thanks, guys. Well, on the bright side, I, I guess things couldn't get any worse. There they are! It's them, Constable! The vicious hooligans that stole the Star of Christmas! The end! <sighs> Christmas Eve. In jail. That wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> oh, Millward, I'm sorry. That's okay, Cavus. I, I just wanted to teach London to love. Teach London to love? Huh? Teach London to love. Now exactly were you going to do that? Well, you know... A big stage show with great songs and, and costumes and and lots of electric lights. <laughs> what? Teach London to love with light bulbs. <laughs> well, not not all by themselves. Well, maybe you could teach London to read with light bulbs. <laughs> if and they was in night school. <laughs> the, the costumes would help. Oh, listen, Governor, I don't know where you're from. But you're more likely to teach a horse to fly than teach this city to love. Or any city for that matter. Hasn't anyone been nice to you? Ah, sure, a bloke could be nice to you. When he wants something from you. I bet you're real nice to your actors when you need them. But that ain't love. Giving up something for someone when they don't deserve it. When there's nothing in it for you. That's love. Going to someone who needs help when you won't get nothing back. That's love. But I ain't never seen anything like that. Leastwise, not round here. Well, if you ask me, you can't teach a man to love. It's not in his nature. <laughs> teach London to love with light bulbs. <laughs> oh, that's a pip. <laughs> Mr. Pincher, star thieves, dinner time. Happy Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah. Uh, you two have company. Huh? Oh, it must be Seymour. He said he'd come as soon as he could. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Oh, I guess you're pretty mad about the star, huh? Well, go ahead, yell away. We're getting what we deserve. We aren't here to yell at you. What? We... well, it was really Edmund's idea. I've been teaching him about Christmas. That God loved us so much, he sent his son, Jesus, who would be called Emmanuel, God with us. And that God came to help us, even when we didn't deserve it, because he loved us. So when Edmund saw what happened, he decided we needed to do the same thing for you. What does that mean, exactly? It means we aren't going to press charges. We're forgiving you. The judge says you can go. This really means a lot to Thank me. you, guys. You Nobody's never ever do gotten this. me out of jail before. Oh, hey, since we don't have anything else to do, we can come see your pageant. Yeah. What? Well, the pageant starts in 10 minutes, and it took us more than an hour to walk over here. Well, how are you going to get back in time? We weren't. You mean you gave up the pageant just to come help us? Edmund didn't want you to spend Christmas in jail. Now you're gonna miss the pageant. Maybe not. I 
came as soon as I heard. If there's anything I can do, I... Why aren't you in the slammer? Seymour, remember how you promised I could take the rocket carriage for a ride sometime? Uh, yeah? It's time! I'm not so sure about this. Are you sure he can drive this thing? No problem. Okay, rockets one through ten. One through five, we're used up coming over here. Six through ten, we'll have to get to there. Under no circumstances should you use rocket 11. It has not been tested. Anything else? Oh, yeah. Uh, the brakes only work if you're on the ground. So, uh, try to stay on the ground. I, I didn't know that was optional. Okay, we're off. Uh, where are you going again? We gotta make it to the church on time. Hang on. This just keeps getting weirder. Who watch it? Look out! Turn! I don't know if I have to move this thing left to turn left or right to turn left! You don't know how to steer it? I forgot to ask! Tonight? Ah! Oh, thanks for coming. We're going down! Ah! We're gonna have a good show for you tonight. Ah! It's gonna be beautiful. Star of Christmas. Oh, sure we do. You didn't steal the real Star of Christmas. We, we didn't. No, the real Star of Christmas isn't something you can steal. In fact, it isn't something at all. Oh, 
great. I do need a new star of Bethlehem, though. Can you guys help me out? Oh, yeah, we can handle that. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth to Bethlehem. He went there with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Come on. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. <gasps> An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and they were terrified. But the angel said, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. And today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. After Jesus was born, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Uh, uh, they saw his star! had said, she will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, God with us. Huh. I think I understand. What's that? Huh? Oh! There's only one story that can really show us how to love, and this is it. Caught a lot of fish, Captain? Uh, your father will be pleased. He and I are going to catch even more when we go fishing today. Oh, ho, I bet you will. Who's that? That's young St. Nicholas. Wait. That's Santa Claus? It can't be. We're nowhere near the North Pole. Oh, does he go on an adventure? Does he get swept out to sea while trying to save an elf? Hold on, little elf. I'll save you. Grab hold of my sleigh. Are you done? Just trying to move the plot along, Bob. Nicholas grew up here with two parents who loved him very much. He had no need that went unmet, and he was happy. Nicholas, it's time for church. Dad and I are gonna go fishing, as soon as church is over. Oh, all right. Does he live in a church? In the third century, most people worshiped in homes. Did they also have Christmas in the summer? Cause it doesn't feel very festive around here. Well, it's not Christmas time yet. I mean a wreath or something. Huh? I'm telling you, I said it and it was there. Of course it was. It's our story and we're telling it. Oh. Now quiet, they're praying. Please comfort him in this trying time and heal him from his sickness. Amen. And now let us sing. Hey, Nicky boy, sneaking out before the party? This could go on for hours. And don't call me Nicky boy. I think it's nice, Nickel Stick. Your parents are always thinking of others, always giving. I guess. I'll be outside. Or you could help me give away. Of this fish, sing we with heart and voice and never cease to praise with one accord the God of peace. Friends, may God's blessing be with you all. And also with you. And now, who's hungry? I made a baklava. Who needs a honey rush? So, how about those Olympics, eh? They're <laughs> wasting away. Here. More fish. Whoa! Oh. 
Octavius. Next time, hold the anchovies. Let's see. Shovel, rake, hoe, hoe, hoe. Oh, fishing poles. There they are. Blessings be with you all. Time for fishing? Time for fishing. Not very Christmassy, Bob. Shh. This conversation is important. Needs lights. Twinkling lights. <laughs> You know, Jesus said we are fishers of men. I told you, Captain, we'd catch more fish than he did today. Nicholas, are you listening to me? What? Sure. You said something about fishing. Nicholas, this is important. We are called to be God's hands and feet on this earth. See that widow cleaning laundry years ago. She fell quite ill. Had no coin to give the doctor. Someone secret paid her bill. See that merchant selling jewelry. He once trod a treacherous road. Someone came beside the man and helped to bear his heavy load. I can love because God loved. Nicholas, are you listening to me? Wow, get a load of that. You got a wood job. Looks like what Gustav's got Let himself a fresh try. batch no. of workers. I feel sorry for him. Why? Gustav loves nothing but money. He finds folks who run out of money and out of hope. Then he works them to the bone. Come on! You there! Pick up those oars! Clean this place up! Oh, yes, Mr. Gustav, sir. Daddy! Daddy! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh no. You are fine. Oh, but... But how will I feed my family? Uh, get off of my ship, you Ooh. fool! Get Daddy! Off of my... Oh, Daddy! Get off of my oh. ship! Oh. And make sure you don't feel Are you okay? Oh, no, it's all right, girls. It's okay. Good man. If it's food you need, just knock on my door and ask for Octavius. He'll see that you don't leave hungry. Oh, thank you, kind sir. My family is in your debt. Take his a charity while you can get it, little man. What are you looking at? Dad, if we keep giving away our fish, will I end up working for Gustav? God has blessed our family with much, but everything we have belongs to him. He wants us to use what we have to help others, what? not to keep you it for ourselves. Are you listening to me? And realizing that all the young children of the world deserved a better life, St. Nick resolved to gain weight, grow a beard, and teach reindeer to fly. Not quite. Just testing you. You can't teach reindeer to fly. They gotta eat magic corn. As unfair as it seems, this is the world where young Nicholas found himself. No, there is no problem. Where are they going? Oh, great piles of codfish! You scared me, Nick-Nack! Don't call me Nick-Nack! The woman's husband is sick. They're going to help. It seems everyone's getting sick these days. They should stay at home. What if they get sick? Oh, you'll know your parents. Wherever there's a need, they'll be there. Now get to sleep, you little halibut. Don't call me halibut. Nickerdoodle? No. Nick Jr.? Please don't. Nicky Bopper? Make it stop. Okay, Nicholas. Back to bed. So, anybody up for some hot cocoa? Is that the end? It's kind of a European ending. We're left with more questions than answers. Uh, that's it's not the end of the story. We're just coming up to the, uh, the sad part. The sad part? What happens? Is this the part where they don't let Rudolph play in their reindeer games? That's so insensitive. No, it's about Nick's parents. Why would Nick's parents want to play reindeer games? N not that, Larry. Something happened to Nick's parents. What? Well, they did get sick, and they... They what, Bob? Well... What happened to Nick's parents, Bob? Well, a great sickness came through their town. They... Bob? They died. While Nicholas was still a boy, both of his parents died. He still had plenty of food and a nice house to live in, but he was an orphan. 
a boy with no parents. Oh, Nicholas, I am so sorry. What am I gonna do now? You could answer the door. Hello, Nicholas. What do you want? There's no need to be rude, Nicholas. I'm here to help you. Won't you excuse us? I have some business with that boy. Fine, don't mind me. I'll just be sitting at the dock of the bay, wasting time. I suppose you know you have to run your father's fishing business now, Nicholas. That's a big job. What do you mean? I was just thinking about all those poor, sick, hungry people your parents were always helping. What about them? Well, with your parents gone, who will help them? It's going to take a lot of money and a lot of fish. Please, please, please help my family. Help my family. Sure, I, I guess I could give you some. How can you help anyone if you give everything you have away? Parents. You better find these folks some fish. I don't have any more. I have to get out of here. Hey, Nicholas. Where are you going? I can't stay here, Octavius. I'm leaving Greece. But Greece is the word. Way anchor, Captain. We're leaving. You can't do this. Is it because of the nicknames? Don't call me nicknames. No, uh, nicknames is not a nickname. I'm leaving. I have to go. I'll come with you. No, Octavius. You'll only remind me of my parents. So where are we going? I don't know. Anywhere but here. All right, fellas. You heard the man. Goodbye, Nicholas. I sure hope you'll find what you're looking for. The story isn't very Christmassy. That's because the ship hasn't landed on Peppermint Island yet, inhabited by Herbie the Yodeling Elf. There's no such thing, Larry. They're sailing to the North Pole. Right, Bob? They don't meet elves, and they don't sail to the North Pole. South Pole? No. Winter Wonderland? Nope. Toys R Us? The happy young boy who had needed nothing now found himself with a great big hole in his heart. Nick and the crew spent several years sailing the Mediterranean, looking for something that would make him feel happy again. Until finally, right around the end of the year, they came to a place called the Holy Land, the place where Jesus was born. Nicholas remembered his father always talking about Jesus, so he decided to go check it out for himself. All right, now we're talking. It's finally feeling Christmassy. Deck the halls with sacred knickknacks. Line our robes with righteous kickbacks. On we holiday apparel. Stroll the holy craze and barrel. la 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 what Christmas is about. Uh, no, Larry, I don't think... See the golden grills before us. Swipe your card and join the chorus. Follow us in merry measure. Fill your bags with holy treasure. la 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 Very much for coming. La 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 la. Twist the key, enjoy the drumming. I have a festive plastic toy to give to girl or boy. I'll bring them peace and joy. Oh boy. La 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 Do it again. You know, I really can't see anything from back here. Um, do you guys know where we're going? No idea. Never been here before. No one knows what lies around the next out! What? Hey, where's everybody? <laughs> Bob, Bob, are you okay? Mouse trap. Huh? I wanted to play mouse trap. 
You roll your dice, you move your mice. Nobody gets hurt. Hey, this must be the trail to the Pugsleyville Bridge. The what? That bridge that collapsed. You know, we heard about it on TV. Boy, we're sure lucky we didn't go down there. Guys, look what I found! That's a buzzsaw Louie! Cool! Push his nose! Push his nose! Okay. You need more toys. Now that's the true meaning of Christmas. No, it isn't. Who said that? I did. That's not what Christmas is about. It's not? No. Christmas isn't about whining and begging for more toys. Well, then what is it about? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. I'm on an adventure. Ooh. Or at least I was until I got stuck in that snowdrift. Well, maybe we could help you. Hey, I know someone who's really, really smart. Maybe they could tell us what Christmas means. Well, they all thought that was a great idea. So they headed off together to see this smart person. Who was it? Well, um, it was, uh, me. You, Grandpa George? Don't act so surprised. Yep, three boys and a funny little toy show up at my front door wondering if I know the true meaning of Christmas. Well, did you? Course, but I didn't want to just give it to them, so I read them a story from a very old book. Ah, here it is. That night in the fields near Bethlehem, some shepherds were guarding their sheep. All at once, an angel came down to them from the Lord, and the brightness of the Lord's glory flashed all around them. The shepherds were frightened, but the angel said, Don't be afraid, I have good news for you, which will make everyone happy. This very day, in King David's hometown, a savior was born for you. He is Christ the Lord. You will know who he is because you'll find him dressed in baby clothes and lying on a bed of hay. Suddenly, many other angels came down from heaven and joined in praising God. They said, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill towards men. Don't you see? That baby was Jesus. That night was the first Christmas. You see, God loved people so much that he gave his only son so that everyone could be with him someday. Christmas isn't about getting, it's about giving. And it's especially about a little baby named Jesus who was the greatest gift of all. You are smart, Grandpa George. Is that the end of the story? Oh, no. Now they knew what Christmas was about, but everybody else was still in the dark. Wah! Wah! Ah! Oh, boy, it's gotten worse. We've got to tell Dinko Town what we know about Christmas. Yeah, but that TV commercial didn't just go to Dinkle Town, it went everywhere. We've got to tell everybody. But Christmas is tomorrow. How could we possibly go everywhere? You can just forget about Pugsleyville. The bridge is out. This is hopeless. Christmas is ruined. No, there must be a way. Keep thinking. Huh? We've got to get into that toy factory! Follow me, everyone! We can save Christmas! I still don't understand why we're here. Yeah, I just got out of this place. I don't want to go back in. Shh! You'll just have to trust me. It's the only way. It's got to be around here somewhere. Bye.
this is a... It's a... TV studio? That's right! It was Mr. Nezzer's television studio. Now, Junior figured that since it was a TV commercial that got him into this mess, maybe another TV commercial could get him out of it. Well, here's hoping. So you see, that's what Christmas is really about. And if we remember that, this will be the best Christmas ever. So you're the guys who want to ruin my Christmas. N -n no that's not it at all. We just want everyone to know what Christmas is really about. Do you think they care? Well... Do you really think they care about all that giving and love stuff? Well... Listen, the only thing kids want to know about Christmas is that they're going to get more toys. And I intend to keep it that way. That's why I'm going to have to send you boys on a little trip. Let's see, where would you like to go? Wibblestown? Bumbleyburg? Just don't send us to Pugsleyville. The bridge is out. Pugsleyville! Oh, I hear it's nice this time of year. Mr. Lunt, four tickets to Pugsleyville, please. Right away, boss. Way to go. The plunger, Mr. Lunt! Now on my signal. Three, two, one last thing. If those people really cared about what you had to say, where are they now? We're right here. Huh? We care very much about the true meaning of Christmas, Mr. Nezzer. That's why we came here, to give you what you deserve. Oh, you didn't really think I was gonna. <laughs> oh, that was just a, just a joke. I wouldn't. What are you gonna do? Mr. Nezzer? Merry Christmas. Well, is that for me? Oh, it's a little bear. Oh, I always wanted a Christmas present, but we were too poor. You don't know how happy this makes me. Look, isn't it cute? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm really sorry for all the trouble I caused, and I'm gonna make it up. What? Oh, no. Well, 
We've got to shine the light of Christmas, right? We're going to need help. A project like this is going to take a lot of people. Like how many people? One, two, three, way more than three. So where do we get them? Of course, that's it. Mr. Flegel's always getting people's attention with some razzle-dazzle. So will we. We'll shine some light on Shining the Light. Good night, Mr. Flegel. Good luck with Mr. Cashburger. Oh, thanks, Emma. Uh, good night. <laughs> Mr. Flegel, I need your help. I get it now. Everything you said makes sense. You do? I it does? If you want to get attention, you've got to shine some light on it. Yes. Exactly. So we need as many lights as we can get. Blinking, flashing, glittering everywhere. All right. You want to help with the lights? Oh, well, yeah. Lights would be a big help. OK. Uh, Reggie and I have to pick up a special package, but everything's in the loading dock. The turnips can help you. Then I have your permission? I can use them all? Of course. Every single one. Hang them everywhere you can. Oh, thank you, Mr. Flegel. What's going on? I think our busy little elf is finally coming around. Oh, uh, good. Let's go get a sky full of fireworks. <laughs> oh, good. I was hoping you guys would turn up. Is that a turn up joke? Mr. Flegel said you could help me. Change the plans. We're taking all these lights to a new location. All of them? We decided to use them for more than just mall decorations. We're going to make a Christmas miracle. Is this more crazy elf talk? Oh, no. We're going to light up a poor old lady's house so that people from all over the city can see it. When we get done, you'll be able to see it from space. Well then, let's turn up the volume. It's actually funny how people speaking the same language can totally misunderstand each other. Here's Mary Larry running off with every ounce of tinsel, garland, and mistletoe in the mall, like some crazed Christmas elf burglar man. I'd love to set all these folks straight, but hey, I'm just a narrator, Jack. Bogey, it's 12 o'clock! Whoa, whoa, we're just here to pick up an order. I had my orders too, you know. Lived in a mud hut for five months and ate tree sap. I was one with the jungle. We're not here to talk about the war, okay? What war? I'm talking about my summer vacation. Okay. Uh, can we sign for this box and go? Uh, oh, yeah. You're the starburst in a box, guys. Loads of fun. Huge explosion. Uh, thanks. Just keep it in the sky, fellas. <laughs> and say goodbye to your eardrums. I can't wait to see the look on Mr. Cashburger's face when this thing goes off. You said it! I'll go check in with Mrs. Netterbaum. Mm -hmm. You find the turnips and get that starburst set up. Hold on, there's a button here somewhere. Oh! Come on now. That's everything. Wait, what about this? Starburst in a box? I like it. Put it in the truck. Mrs. Netterbaum, I just spoke with Mr. Cashberger. He's on his way. Already? I think you'll see that we've pulled out all the stops and used every trick in the book. What is this? What's happening? The mall is clean like a Christmas turkey. That's what's happening. There has to be some explanation. Uh, Mary Larry was going to hang even more. Aha! Uh -huh. There's the explanation. Everywhere that guy goes, disaster! He took all our lights because he couldn't take the competition. That doesn't sound like Lawrence. Well, all of our hopes and dreams have gone up in smoke. I told you he wasn't done wrecking our train. Could there have been some kind of a, a mix-up? Maybe the turnips took them down for repairs. Well, I'm not... Maybe they're in the electrical room. Um... No, wait. Uh, maybe lost and found. Oh... Are the storage and repair room? Yeah, that's gotta be it. Mary Larry! Lights. I need lights. Where are the lights? Well, what's this? Ah! <laughs> Mr. Flegel, are you all right? No, George, I'm not all right. I've lost everything. It's got to be in here. What? What? Huh? Huh. Bah! Bah! Hee-haw! 
Hee-haw! I found the other box of decorations. Can I help with the lights? <laughs> I've got it, son. You take care of the nativity. Uh, tell me the story again, Mom. Hmm. How does that start? Mom! <laughs> I remember now. A long time ago, there was a man named Joseph who was supposed to marry a girl named Mary. But first, they had to go together to the city of Bethlehem to pay their taxes. Mary had a baby in her tummy, and Joseph looked for a place for them to stay. There was no room for them in the inn. So, so, so they had to sleep in the stable where the animals lived. Ba, ba, <laughs> When the baby was born, Mary wrapped him up and laid him in the manger. Nearby, there were shepherds in the fields watching over their sheep. Whoa! And that's when the angel appeared. All well, the shepherds were very scared. I wouldn't be scared of an angel, especially if he was super bright. The angel told them the good news. Today, in Bethlehem, the Savior is born for you. You will find him wrapped in cloth and lying in a manger. When we celebrate Christmas, we remember the day Jesus was born. Don't ever forget that, Philip. But I think I did forget. Did you find any lights? No. I found something even better. Oh, uh, don't you wreck the train now. We need the lights. Uh, no, Reggie, that's just it. Christmas doesn't need lights or snow or any of that other stuff. That's all OK. But it's not what makes Christmas Christmas. This is. Do what you need to do. But you're on your own, Philip. Or should I say, Mary Philip? Doesn't have the same ring to it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> now this is getting good. But you know what? Philip's not the only bulb with a bright ideal. <laughs> it's feeling like Christmas more every minute. Get pissed, you merry gentlemen, your undies on display. La 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 dee. La la something Christmas day. Okay, Hedelf. What's this all about? You might want to put on some sunglasses. I gotta call you back. I'm too awestruck with childlike wonder. You guys sure know how to turn up the brightness. Never get tired of turn up to. When the copter five here. Traffic is stopped due to some amazing Christmas lights. Seriously, you need to get down here and see this. 423 Tower, we are getting blinded. Houston, you gotta see this. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming. Christina's neighbor, Mrs. Crespi, needs our help. Would you look at this? It's just decorations. She still doesn't have a house. We're gonna need a lot of help fixing it up. What do you say? Well, them lights would pull folks in like they were skeeters and June bugs. But now, that broken down house was a tugging at their heartstrings. Hey, I've got some extra lumber in my truck. I think I could have beat you. That's great. Oh, I got some tools in my truck. I think I could put in some overtime. Me too. I'd love to help. Really? Spreading Christmas joy is fun. I saved up some allowance. Me too. I've got an extra couch. You were right, Mary Larry. This was too big of a job for just three people. <laughs> and we'll all show up to take these decorations back down. Come June or July. After all, it's kind of tacky if you leave them hanging up all year. Forgive the delay, Mr. Cashberger. It's, it's just that we're not finished yet. Well, you can't keep me waiting outside my own mall. It's a work in progress. We're doing a lot in secret. Top secret, hidden away. It's all part of a grand, uh, surprise! It's completely empty! No lights at all! Well, would you look at that? We tend to forget what it's all about sometimes, don't we? Yes, sir, we do. You know, I may be the king of them all, but he is the king of them all. You're both the king of them all? No. A king of them all. Of them all. Listen closely. Them all. Two different words. How can you both be king of them all? We're not king of them all. Listen. You're saying the same thing. I'm not saying... Oh, never mind. All I'm saying is that this is a very meaningful Christmas display. I haven't seen this nativity set in over 15 years. Wherever did you find it? 
You mean you're okay without all the flash and all the lights? Oh, of course not. Are you kidding? Look at this place. I mean, really, a mall needs lights at Christmas, don't you think? I'm sorry. This is a beautiful statement, Philip. But I'm not sure I'd hire you boys again. Mr. Flagel, I think I found out where all the lights went. It's all over the news. Is that my nephew? So how many lights would you say you've used here? Millions? Billions. Maybe a million billion. All I can tell you is that it's enough to fill them all. I should really thank Philip Flegel and Spring Valley Mall for their donation. It was the best way to get the city's attention, to call for help. And it looks like help came. Here she is. What's going on? Why are all you people on my lawn? Mrs. Crespi, we're giving you a new house. Oh, Christina, I, I don't know what to say. God bless you all. Why'd you do it, Lawrence? Just letting God's love shine through. I hear you've got one more surprise left for us today. That's right, the Starburst in a Box. What? So what does this do? The, the, the Starburst in a Box? The Star what in a what? Ah, Lawrence took the secret weapon and he turned it on. That means the timer is on and it's going to set off 500 pounds of fireworks any minute right in front of the porch. They're going to burn that lady's house down all over again. Oh, that's not good. I don't suppose you overcharged this one today, did you, Sam? Oh, come on. Okay. Guilty. Overcharged it again. Good. I think that's just what I need. I've got a Christmas to save. Hey, watch The walls are up. The carpet is almost finished, and someone just showed up with a new bed. Fantastic! Looks like you'll be waking up on a Christmas morning in your own house, ma'am. God bless you all. Nothing can stop this from being the best Christmas ever. Stop! Mr. Flegel, what are you doing? Scissors! I need scissors! Mr. Flegel, don't do that! No time! Thank you for doing that. Thanks for being such a good helper, Lawrence. And for showing me what shining the light of Christmas was all about. Giving the love God gave to you. There's no better gift than that. You stopped us from going up in a fiery blaze, which is also a nice gift. Merry Christmas, Mr. Flegel. Merry Christmas, Mary Larry. Eh, I thought this place could use a little snow. What? I thought this place could use a little snow! Thanks, Reggie! Oh, hey, Uncle T. Lawrence, uh, Philip, between the two of you, you've made quite a mess of my mall. But I'm very impressed by the work you've done here. I'd like to put you two in charge of finding ways Spring Valley Mall can help the community all year long. That sounds great. We'd love that. How does managers of community outreach sound to you? Can I make it merry manager? Sounds fantastic. Mr. Cashburger, we understand it was Spring Valley Mall that's responsible for this amazing effort. Oh, yes. A wonderful place. Charming. Staffed by very caring people. Tell us a little more about your holiday hours. Ain't no two ways about it, boys and girls. Shining Brack was always Philip's business. Now, that little fella knows that there ain't no better way to shine than to let God's love shine through you. Yeah.